Hey everyone, Cece here with a Bible journaling process video for you. Today I'm diving into my July Faith Art Box. In each box you get a devotional with really good content and some reflection questions here on the side and this beautiful print on the back. And as usual you get two sheets of cardstock stickers. In this set you get these word stickers and these fruits and hearts and word titles and arrows and labels and of course the alphas and instead of bow clips this month you get a set of enamel stickers in hearts and circles in these beautiful colors you also get a set of very good quality clear stamps i am so excited to use this set it is so cute I've also been getting a lot of questions about how i store my stamps and this is just a photo album that i found at my local bookstore and it comes in different sizes and fortunately it also comes in sizes that the stamps are so it's cheap and affordable and it works for me now i'm going through the devotional for this month which is written by aaron davis and it is about bearing good fruit i'm turning my bible to galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 which is about the fruit of the spirit in this devotional aaron writes if we take a few steps back, we find that Paul isn't talking about farming. He's talking about war. This is a passage about the universal and seemingly unending battle between the flesh and the spirit. She continues to write, As the war rages on, how can we know which side is winning? The proof is in the fruit. Also, I want to apologize in advance because halfway throughout this video, you'll notice that it gets cut off and that's when my battery died so I'm really sorry about that okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down some color on this page so I'm taking the Versa Magic chalking pad and this yellow color I'm not sure exactly what color this is but I'll try to link it down below um, and daub it down the entire page this takes time and a lot of patience, but once it's down, it makes your page really pretty. In the devotional, Erin also writes, We don't have to guess that we are walking by the Spirit, like the fruit that hangs from the branches and leaves around my farm. If we look, we will always find evidence when God is at work. Are you growing in love, in joy? How about peace, patience, and kindness? These are not virtues you can drum up on your own. They are the clear evidences that Christ is at work within you. Though your flesh continues to resist, the Spirit is busy transforming you into the image of the God who made you. Do you see signs of goodness starting to bud? How about faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control? If this fruit shows up on the branches of who you are, even if it's not fully ripe, you can rest in the fact that you are walking in the Spirit that your heart and life are fertile soil for the things of God. Take heart knowing the fruit of the Spirit is a sure sign He is at work. Here I'm putting down the leaf stamp on the top and bottom edges of my page. Now I'm taking these word stickers and a couple of stamps and writing out grow and bear fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As you can see, this is where I lost some of my footage, but all I did here was just put down the word stickers and then put down a word title, some of the fruit stickers, an arrow, a heart, and then I outlined the verse that I was working on, and then I drew some lines for journaling or a prayer, and then put down some washi tape on both the top and bottom of the page, and last, stamped down the date. 
I really enjoy the content that came in this month's devotional, and I'm really looking forward to going deeper into the Word and studying each fruit of the Spirit. If you haven't got this kit yet, go to the shop, which I'll link down below, and get it, because you don't want to miss this. And that way we can create together and study God's Word together. Last thing I did was to write down my prayer, and here I wrote, Father, help me grow in love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Help me to walk in the Spirit each day. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this process video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.